the best women's coach of the year. My goodness, that's you. That's you. Yeah, that's you. One title after the other, my dear Emma, with your team and personally. And now you can call you also the best FIFA women's coach. What kind of movie passes through your mind now? And what are you feeling having received this award tonight, Emma? Oh, I'm, I'm completely shocked. I'm completely humbled. I, I, I'm lost for words, which isn't often. I just keep thinking about all my childhood and all my dreams and all the hard work that, that not only my family have put into me, because they allowed me to do my job, my profession, that support network is massive, but also the amazing players and staff that, that represent me every day, like unbelievably fortunate. That's how I feel, so grateful, honestly, so ridiculously embarrassed as well. <laughs> but your work and your love for football have already given you so much satisfaction. You are now officer of the Order of the British Empire. You signed a contract that will bind you to Chelsea for many more years. Something tells me that even though your coaching career is already very positive and successful, Emma Hayes still has many things in mind and wants to achieve many other goals. What and which, which ones? To me, the, the, the best goal is always getting better daily because anything, the only way you achieve the biggest things is by the little work that you do every day and often, like the consistent behaviours. I enjoy improving on my coaching and the ideas around coaching. I love collaborating with people to, to keep pushing all the time. And yeah, listen, I've got a long way to go in coaching. I just want to keep getting better. What you potentially or already know is that it's not only you from Chelsea winning tonight. So we have Edouard Mendy and we have also Thomas Tuchel winning and he is the best man's coach. And I guess that we have Thomas also in line already. But my question first to you is why makes what makes Chelsea so strong as a club? Because, I mean, you got a hat trick, guys. Listen. It's an amazing club. I've been there 10 years from right from the very top all the way down. It's a culture of progression. It's a culture of winning. It demands a lot, but it gives a lot. It's a family and one that uh, I'm so proud of both Edward and Thomas tonight as well, because they know how special our football club is. I have a surprise. Thomas is also online. He should be online already. Thomas Tuchel. Yes. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you very much. You have your colleague, Emma Hayes, who also is the best <laughs> women's coach of the year. So, sorry, Chelsea, but you guys get a hat-trick also with Edward Mendy. You can congratulate yourself, please. That's your floor now. We, we, we did already. And uh, <laughs> let's just say congratulations to, to the women's team, to Emma, her staff. Of course, we know how hard they work. We know how good they are. And uh, it's uh, it's it's... It's, it's one club, so we are, we are super happy for her. Emma, what do you think about Thomas' work? That's Honestly, a difficult one now. No, it's not difficult. He, the minute he came to Chelsea, I knew he was born for Chelsea. Um, there, and he knows it as well. He knows, he, he knows what it is to be a manager at Chelsea. And not many of us get that privilege, but... Um, He's, he's, he's great to watch. He's a lot of fun. Um, his team's amazing to watch. And I'm just grateful we've got him at the club, like lucky us. And uh, Thomas, before I say goodbye to Emma, of course, I want to hear also the other side. What do you think of the work of Emma Hayes? Well, it speaks for itself. She is uh, already a legend here. And uh, I, I try hard to, 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 to keep up and to, to stay, to stay uh, as long as she does and to, to catch as many titles. Because no matter what she does, it turns out to be, to be uh, in the end, she turns out to be on top of whatever competition and she has what it takes. And uh, we met very early, like in, in, in the building and uh, was, since then, it's always nice to meet her, always nice to, 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 um, to chat. It is not so easy because of the different bubbles in which we are in. So we cannot like have uh, as many meetings as we maybe would like to have or, or like uh, exchange. But 
her work is extraordinary and she is uh, she's a, is a brilliant coach and, and well deserved um, the prize can you believe already that you are the no. best uh, men's coach no. so what are your feelings no. at the moment what i cannot believe and maybe it's better not to believe it because uh um just to enjoy it and and you can be very sure that i'm enjoying it it is a it's an incredible feeling it's a great great honor uh but i will even maybe try hard not to believe it because um that would feel like uh, being always clo uh, close to being arrogant and and this is not what we want so very very grateful and very happy but you are exactly one year at Chelsea now, Mr. Tuchel. You won the Champions League. You won the Super League. I mean, there is a, not a bad, a lot of success, and it went steadily uphill. What do you think was the key to that success? A strong club, um, a strong team, um, and uh, and and the luck that uh, that it is a good fit. It's a good fit in terms of mentality. It's a good fit in terms of work ethic. And and I think you need the luck. I just uh, wrote some day uh, re read some days ago a good quote where it says like the journey itself matters, but mat is is much more important uh, the company on in the journey that you reach your targets. And I cannot agree more. The company here, the support here in the club is from day one outstanding. I feel uh, I feel so good. I feel like uh, that I can be the best version of of myself. And uh, I feel trusted and supported, and uh, this you can never, never underestimate. So big, big credit to to. So I, I feel happy, and and I take this award on on behalf of of everybody who who supports me and supported me, of course, on my way as a coach. And I can just promise I will not uh, I will not stop working hard, uh, stay humble, and and uh, know always that it's a team effort. Very quickly, a question, because the next title is there in front of the door. You are going soon to the FIFA Club World Cup. Of course, you want to win that title again. Yes. Oh, you want to win the title. Yes, we are excited to, to go to Abu Dhabi. We are excited to be in semi-final and we will arrive very, very determined to win it. Uh, you never know I mean, when, uh, how many chances in, in, in your life you get to win a title like this. You have to win Champions League before you know, you know how, how hard this competition is. So when you arrive, of course, we, we respect the competition and our opponents, but we arrive, uh, of course, with a pure will to, to make it happen and, and collect this trophy.